I will love you forever, Funke. You are the best woman that God created. And I will do everything to spend the rest of my life with you. Are you sure? Of course. I can even take an oath with you. I will promise not to break your heart. Hmm. But what about those girls that brought us around you? I am sure, once I'm out of sight, you're going to date one of them. Listen, none of them is near you in beauty, intelligence, and everything. I can't try that. So told me. I'm already in love with you. And but I'm scared. Scared of what? I'm scared of heartbreak too. I'm scared of being used and dumped. Making me proud. I was just, I was just trying to yes. explain the things I read, so I don't forget them. It's good. I'm happy with you, my daughter, and I know you're gonna make me proud. Thank you, Dad. Funke, I had already told you to leave these dishes. You can't be washing these dishes. I told you that the business you owe me here is to read your books and pass your exams and remain the best in your exams and come top in your next job. That's only what you owe me. But Dad, yes. I'm just doing the dishes. I've read enough for today. And I will continue with it like before I go to bed. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't want any of that. I don't want you doing any of that. Leave these dishes for my wife. Or any the house girl. Or even to myself. Let me remind you, your business here is to go to school, read your books come back, eat, and study, and repeat the same process daily until you get your PhD. I've said this before. But Dad, yes. life will be so boring with such a routine. Life can never be boring for an educated mind like you. You what you owe me here is to remain top in your exams. Please leave it when you watch them. But Dad, I can't stay and watch you watch the dishes for me. Don't worry, it doesn't take anything from me, okay? Go and study your books. It's your time to study them. Please, go and make sure you pass your exams. Please leave them. I said leave them. 
okay? I can do them. Concentrate and pass our jam exams. That's why I'm washing it. Boss, you know you're not being fed to her. How? Yes, you're not being fed to her. You're misleading her. I pray she doesn't end up badly. Shut up. With her level of brilliance, she doesn't need any of these so called house skills. Is half illiterate like you that would need to do that for yourself. As my daughter doesn't have time for dishes or to cook food. Where will she have the time? Or is it the time that she's flying from one country to the other and packing her money in dollars? About yes, I'm listening. It's not about food care. Yeah. You know that Funke is also my daughter, right? Yes, of course. And I am concerned about your overindulgence of her. She needs all these things even though she becomes the president right after her university. There is a psychological benefit of being concerned. That's what we were told. That's what we were told. But where has that led us? Please, leave her to me. I don't Leave her to me. I don't want any of those distractions until she writes her final exams. Please. Education is not just the reading of books, nor the, uh, the cramming of theories, nor the reading and passing of exams. Education is the assimilation of knowledge and the application in our daily lives. Education is not just an achievement, it is an encounter in every human's life and it's assimilation every day because education can be conquered when it is not properly applied because that is just the academic jugger of what I am saying about this whole the professor of excellence and discipline in education. Mr. Sam, Mr. Sam, the promoter of academic fraud and examination mark practice. How are you today? Teacher Zimba, how dare you describe my business as fraud? If your business is not fraud, then what is it, my friend? I am only trying to deploy my knowledge to assist those who do not have the time to study their book to pass their exam just for a little bit. Hmm. Mr. Sam, that is fraud. That is fraud, Mr. Sam. Any child who do not have the discipline to study his book and pass his exams should not further in education, but rather try his luck in something else. You know, not everybody must go through the university. Huh, Mr. Sam? You are only deceiving yourself. While those who are not as half educated as yourself are making billions of naira. But literally doing nothing, and here you are celebrating your poverty. There you go again, Mr. Sam. There you go again. Poverty, let me, t let me educate you on something you don't know. Poverty. It's not just the, ab the lack of money, but the absence of principle in our community these days. I am richer than every corrupt billionaire you see out there because I earn every cobble I spend today. And let me tell you something, Mr. Sam. 
I will continue to live this way than to become a thief in the, in the thief in the society. And again, I will continue to deploy this knowledge to all our children and, and, and citizens of this community, even though it is unpopular. But I will continue to teach them the right thing to do. Well, teacher Zimba, I wish you luck. But for me, I have decided to take the path that guarantees comfort for my children and myself. I wish you good luck on your new achievements. Look at them. That is how they go about destroying people's children and deceiving them. That's what everyone knows. And I've only pressured me to disappoint. You will not disappoint anyone from care. Don't worry yourself. You will still come out of. You know this is a nationwide exam. And my dad especially. He's expecting me to come home with the best results. The best results? Yes. From our school or the entire community? Our uh, school, the entire community. The, the whole country, the entire country. The whole country, you mean? Yes. Ha, that's a tough one. I know. I know. And my dad knows that there are lots of goodies that come with it. It is for the highest way you get lots of gifts and possibly math working scholarship offers. Yeah, I know about that, but that's not my motivation. I just want to write the exams. Get my cut of marks that's going to fetch me admission into the university. I wish I were you. I wish I were you with no one breathing down my neck and expecting me to be better than everyone else. My mother wishes me well, but she doesn't put pressure on me. My dad. My dad loves me so much. He boasts of my achievements for his friends. And I can do anything, anything at all to make him proud. Wow. That's a good commitment to make. You are good and you got the brains. So don't worry yourself. You're going to achieve your goal. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I'll do my best. My best, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. <laughs> and stop worrying yourself. Able Bay. You haven't been doing your morning chores for the past three days now. I'm sorry, Mom. I am preparing for my fourth community meeting. I decided to devote all my attention and time to my goals. I know that. But I have always told you that studying mustn't be an excuse. Why you shouldn't do other chores at home or take care of other responsibilities? But mom, my friend Funke does not do any chores in the house. She, she, she spends all her time reading because she aspires to come, come out as the best scorer in the world for me to take the exam. Your name is not Funke. Your name is Ebube. And I am your mother and I insist that a good education comprises of both homemaking skills, good morals, success in examinations. Each is incomplete without the other. But 
more. Won't you be happy if your daughter becomes the highest scorer, scorer in the jam later? Every parent will be glad at their child's success. More especially when that child surpasses her mates. But I am interested in the process of the sustainability of the success. Success at examination without the useful skills and good morals run the risk of fizzling out so quickly. My dear daughter, I will be the proudest mother if you make the best results. But I will also be proud of you if you make good grades to earn yourself a place in the university and also have the necessary skills and morality. My friends think you are too restrictive and old-fashioned when I tell them about the ideas you inculcate on us. That is not correct, my daughter. You see, the world has changed so much. But the rules to living a happy and fulfilled life remains the same. There are places that school education can take you to that home and moral education might not take you to. But in most difficult of times, life skills and moral education come in handy to save you from the difficulties that formal education might not save you from. Better. Just go. I want to just go. That will kill me. <laughs> but the funniest thing is, eh? Hmm. I don't know. Fuka is actually very brilliant. She's a brilliant girl. But I just wonder how she, you know, seems able to be ahead of all of us, particularly every subject. Come. Yeah, wow. Yeah, she's very good. She. You know the funniest thing? She boasted that she wants to be the best in this country. This is our upcoming German examination. Ah, wow. I swear. <laughs> I swear. I swear. That would be nice if she can. Yeah, she would too. Me, so I want to achieve it. Yeah, you see. That's her boyfriend. I don't know if you will allow her to read or give her enough space to do hey. study and focus. Do that, Toby. Eh. Hey. You know now, the guy has just been all over her recent, like just bombing her. You know how guys can be now. Toby is different, Joe. Uh-uh, Toby, Toby is a very brilliant guy too. Hmm. Remember he was also tough in his class when he was in our school? Is it not just one year? Not quite, come on. He was always supposed to be our mate, but you know, this double promotion due to excellent performance. Uh -huh. Excellent performance, so. Wait, <laughs> I don't know. How would you know? When did you join us? Just a three now. I don't forgot to see this one. Yes, yeah, hmm. shy. Sure. But uh, I'm really wishing her me too. I wish her success. At least since you are in the season. Follow, follow. <laughs> Our name will be part of the school. <laughs> Best students. <laughs> we are. The important thing is that she doesn't have something that will just <laughs> give you a good <laughs> rank and enter school. We could do it.
represent. She's too strict. Please don't talk about my girl like that. Ah, oh, Miss Girl, come now. I hope I've not just embarrassed myself with the speed I use in consuming no, no, delicious no, 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 food. Men should eat like soldiers. You're oh. welcome. Okay, okay, okay. I don't understand. Okay. Let me tell you. you see. Hold on. You mean you want me to stoop so low to involve myself with examination mark practice and thereby tarnish my long built reputation? That is an impetus. That is a temerity. I would accept that. Do you know me? You must be pulling my legs on me, Mr. Biodu. insulted me again, Mr. Biodo. This is a cultural categorical aqua. An educational juggernaut like me? Did you know the level I have ascertained? This is a pinchonic and wanchomistic phenomenon. I will not condone such insults. Did you mean I can't afford such plate of food? 
Mr. Biodu, this is unfair and I will not tolerate such insult from you. I eat your food no more. Is it not good? This is wrong. Mr. Biodu, let me tell you something. Your daughter is a very brilliant woman. Very brilliant student at that. The best you need now is your guidance. Do not put her under due pressure. If not, you will make a mistake as dangerous as well as heavy, as magnitude as some educational juggernaut out there will not be able to comprehend. And I believe you will not like the outcome of it. Mr. Biodo, yes. the way you are going with this girl making her exams, if you are not careful, you will end up doing what you might do. Okay. I wish you good luck on that. Excuse me. Funke? Funke? Yes, sir. How could you recommend such a man as your best teacher in your school? How? Yes. What did he do? He doesn't know anything. He's so timid. He was here preaching to me as if I need some pastors that will uh, come and teach me morals. What is that? Oh, I know Mr. Zimbabwe to be very crazy. But I didn't know that anything wrong would happen to someone with small, higher marks, as many marks in their exams. Ah, okay. At this point, Maybe you have to study very hard to make sure you pass your exams. And at that, you will come top in that exam. Remember, I've already posted to my friends that you are going to come top in the German SSC exams. Okay? Okay, Dad. Thank you. Promise to make me proud. Thank you, my daughter. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Uh, it's clear the table. I will love you forever, Funke. You are the best human that God created. And I will do everything to spend the rest of my life with you. Are you sure? Of course. I can even take an oath with you. I will promise not to break your heart. Hmm. What about those girls that put us around you? I am sure, once I'm out of sight, you're going to date one of them. Listen, none of them is near you in beauty, intelligence, and everything. I can't try that. So, Toby, I'm already in love with you. And, and I'm scared. Scared of what? I'm scared of heartbreak, too. I'm scared of being used and dumped. Funke, baby, why did you talk like that? Or don't you trust me? Then he trusted Kayla, but she betrayed him with Kelly Kaira because he was a handsome lobster. But I am neither Kayla nor any Kayla Kaira. I know. What about Ibube? I know you admire her. Ibube? Who is that? How do you want to pretend you do not know Ibube? I see the way you look at her lost food. Don't care. You are too jealous and too suspicious. Yes, I am jealous because I love you so much and I do not want to share with anyone. Okay, I promise you won't. Okay? Are you sure? Of course. But you just lied about not knowing the baby. I did not lie. Just that she's been so insignificant and. That I could not fix my mind over her face anytime you call her name. 
But you know her now. Yeah, it will be. She's your closest competitor in terms, right? Yes. But I always beat her. I come first and she comes second. So, yes. how do you think I'll leave the best for the second best? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know you guys. You guys are unpredictable and funny. But I am not you guys. I am Toby. This is your sexual, loving and caring boyfriend of Funke. Come on. Okay. Let's say so. I said it! I said it! Funke! I knew there is something certainly distracting you from your education. What are you doing making love with Toby in the bush? Oh, it's just him bad. There is nothing, there is nothing going on between us. There is nothing going on between us. Toby, you are supposed to be in the university by now because I know you did well in both your SSCE and your job. What are you doing making love with this innocent girl in the bush? Sazimba, our lecturers are on strike. Then go and learn a skill. Go and learn a skill. Instead of hiding in the bush and destroying the innocent girl's life. You are just a year older than high school. And I can tell, this juvenile pool of passion of yours will take you both nowhere but multiple heartbreak. Your father wants you to be the best scorer in the upcoming jam. You can't achieve that by making love with Toby in the bush. Can't you see that this juvenile pool of passion will lead you nowhere? It is an Odoru Ferro saga that you both must understand. It is a free to man, a gargantual momentum that you both should acclimatize yourself to. But I would advise you, choose between education and romance. But as for me, I would advise to choose education so that you may thrive. Very, very lucky. Don't do that at all. Toby, I think you shouldn't have come here in the first place. No, 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 Mr. Zimba is going to spread the rumor around the whole school. Teacher Zimba, he can never change. But Teacher Zimba is not a gossip. Okay, listen. Don't worry, okay? Teacher Zimba will not tell us, alright? I hope so. But next time, please, let's get a more secure and private place. Please. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry, sir. Kai, oh God, I'm worried. Funke is not yet back at this time of the evening. Just look at the time. Just look at the time. Hi. Oh, God. I have told you I have no reason that girl well. But when I talk, you accuse me of not loving her enough. What is bringing that about? Because she is not my daughter. What is bringing that about? But you know I'm a woman and also a mother. So I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, because you were spoiled early and you think every other girl is like you <laughs> you should be worried that it's your daughter by this time she's not yet back from school <laughs> uh, what are you thinking so uh, because you were spoiled early and you think every other girl is like that not my phone care. I know you always look for every opportunity to insult me. But no problem. It's my fault that I started beating you. And since when I started beating you, you never allow any day to pass without me to that. <laughs> ah, this woman. You are the one that brought it up. I know I started dating you when you were barely 14 or 15. Yes, 15. 
And probably you think because Funke, my daughter, is 17 years, and by now, she must have already started seeing men. All of my She's not. And her mom wasn't loose. Attention to that girl. Because I am seeing things that are not pleasant about her. Which are what? Please keep those wicked observations to yourself. My daughter is still a virgin. And a virgin she will remain until I marry her off to a high flying barrister. <laughs> How are you? Okay. I'm just coming back from school now. What happened? Dad. Yeah. I stopped my my rounds. Oh, 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 that's fine. I trust my daughter. Oh, you know what? Maybe you will start going to school with food. So I can spend more time in the library studying and reading your books. Okay? Okay, Dad. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, can I go inside? I I told you. See? I told you that I trust my daughter. She reads her books. <clears throat> she studies very hard. Very soon she will write the exams. And she will become the top scholar in the exams. And she will put my name on the national map. See? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, don't bother yourself, okay? Next week is your jam exam. And you both are our most brilliant students. You can come back as the joint best scorers in this exam. But do not put so much pressure on yourselves. Do you understand me? Approach it as an exam and not a contest for any laurel. Give your best, solve the questions you know, and never cheat. An examination cheat is no different from a thief. You are the leaders of tomorrow and our hope for a better country. You must do things differently if we must have any hope for a better nation. The major reason our country is the way it is now is because most of our political stakeholders poke old fake results and the ones with the correct certificate cheated their way in. I look forward to getting the good news from your excellent performance. All right. You may leave. Thank you, sir. Oh God, Mister Yao, my sister. See, me, I did my best to. I tried my possible best in my exam. You know, I'm not as brilliant as for uh, Funken. No, leave that thing, Abe. You, you did yours. Me too. I, I, I also tried in my own way too. So really? I just hope I just get a good score that will secure me a place in the university. <laughs> That's what I'm praying well, for. If I can get um. Theater heart or mass communication. Fine. <laughs> you don't even know me. I just I'm not saying anything. So me, but I don't spray. I get the cut off mark. You know. Idea. It's not all about the cut off mark. They lie. <laughs> you don't know what's that? Our school system is very corrupt. Don't start. Like what are you saying? It is very very corrupt. You see, they don't give admission to the best students. It is those with money and connections. Once you have the right contact like this, you are there. But well, that's not fair. One hand. What is uh, fairness? Funny story, I learned, I even learned that they consider where you come from uh, and even religion. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Serious. Yes, so God help us. That is what they call catchment area. Uh, Admission quanta. Can you imagine? Mm. That's how they would probably be best for studying the content of their dreams. <laughs> Useless people. <laughs> 
Ah. She's not going to try that one with me because I'm not willing to just so go through straight. Some girls are doing life because of just their unfair practices. This is crazy. Yeah. Do not be our portion in Jesus' name. Shalom. And me, that is crazy. Your jump result out. Yes, ma'am, and you can't believe what I scored. I trust you. I know what you can do. Let me guess my score. I'll say 250. Higher than that. What? Higher than 250? A lot higher. That means we have scored a place in law faculty. I scored 370. You scored 370? Yes. 370. <laughs> yes. What? I'm so happy my daughter come here. Oh Lord, I'm so happy. Thank you, God. Thank you. What would I have done without you, Lord? I'm so happy for you. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Amy. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I have told you many times. Funke is 19 years. And no, she's not longer a child. She's fine wherever she is. She's fine? She's fine, you say? My daughter has been missing for four days now, and her phone is not going through. You're telling me she's fine. She's not. About Funke. Yes. You are not the only one that has a child that's so passionate about you. She's also my daughter, and she's a woman. She knows what she's doing. Hey. Uh, Tinu, you say woman? Funke, a woman? Yes. You're so insensitive. You don't understand anything. Let me tell you, you have not understood the connection between that girl and I. I promise her dying mother that I'm going to protect her. I'm going to provide her with the best of life. I'm going, not, not going to allow any harm come to her. Those promises I intend to keep to the end of my life. I do understand you. I fully do understand you. Okay. But she is also my daughter. I love her the way you do. So relax. She is fine. Relax, you see. Funke's number has not been going through. Even when it goes, she doesn't pick. Ah, Jesus. Something is wrong with my daughter. Something is definitely wrong with my daughter. I can feel it. Where are you going to? I want to go and look for my daughter. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not this night, Gabriel. Why? Not this night. Why? You'll be hurting her further. What if something happened to you? Nothing is going to happen to me. I'm going to look for my daughter and I will not come back to this house until I find her. Hey. Please allow me to go, please. You are not going anywhere. I said you are not going anywhere. Okay, fine. I promise by tomorrow, if she doesn't return, I'll help you to look for her. You 
want me to spend another night here without knowing exactly where my daughter is? I can't. Just this night. I assure you by tomorrow I will look for or I will find out why. What is wrong with her? Is that a promise? Is that a promise? It's a promise. All right. I promise. All right. I will change. Come on, get up. We need to go to the room. All right. It's bedtime. Look at the time. It's late. Hello? Ebube. Good evening, Auntie Tino. Now, I want you to tell me who Funke's boyfriend is. No, I, I don't think she have one. Okay, listen to me. Funke is missing. We haven't seen her since after her jam exam. And her father is inconsolable. And you know, he might even hurt himself if he doesn't find her by tomorrow or even get contact with her. Are you serious? Okay, okay. I'll send you the number. Okay, thank you. Send me the number now. Right now. Alright, ma. This is something I'm unless part. Don't worry, we'll do a clean job of it. I trust you, Sasa. Consider it done. I will send it to you in the evening. Where could Funke had gone to with Obi? I want her to be careful with that boy, but she wouldn't listen. When she chose a jump center in the city where Toby's school is, I tried to discourage her, but she wouldn't listen. I just hope everything is alright with her and she comes back in one piece. Oh my gosh, Amina, I'm very happy. Why? Hell oh God, I'm so happy that I'm able to get a note that will guarantee me an admission. Oh God. Oh, I you. Eh? Can you hear? I that it will be Yes, no. Yeah. Uh -huh. For this, now, who knows what for just God? <laughs> God, I'm happy for myself. Maybe higher or lower. Eh, because it's very rare for someone to score for above 400 now. What about if Funke has got 400 over 400? She's a very brilliant girl, though. Because I see everybody, I don't see everybody doing performing better than her. She's brilliant. I'm surprised nobody has heard from her ever since the exam. Uh -huh, now. That's an evidence that shows maybe, you know, that she has broken this year record now in the German examination. This is this one. <laughs> you know, I learned that eh, if you, are, you have a very good grade, Jam will vote you to repeat exams. Like, repeat exam and they will interview you to confirm, you know, whether you're the one that actually have that grade, if you actually earn the grades. So, you mean that is what she's doing right now? Possibly. That's what she's doing. Because she, she's away for the jam, you know, to the city. We've not, after the jam, we've not, we've not heard from her, but that's what, that's what, that's what will be happening. I'm not looking for you too. My dear, <laughs> for us! Are we? <laughs> You know, I told you, I told you that my daughter will make me proud. Okay, see now, her name is all over the place for good. Wow, I'm so happy for her. Yes, me too, me you too. Know, 372 is a very, very high score. Of course, the highest in the country. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Very interesting. Yes. Hmm. Okay, my baby. <laughs> I am so proud of her. Good. Very, very Good. Yes. Open doors. Of course, she has already started bringing open doors. Some companies, some organizations have even started calling and they, to extend their support. 
some of them even offered her scholarships oh. abroad. Oh. So happy, I'm so happy. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. So when is she coming to South Africa? Tomorrow morning, she's coming back here tomorrow morning. And, and don't forget, I'm going to get full chicken so that you can prepare fried rice for her. And please, let me warn, nobody should partake of that chicken with her. Is this clear, please? Yes, my lord. Good, good. Your friend, Funke, she has achieved her dreams by scoring the highest in the country. Yes, ma'am. She just passed me two marks. That's beautiful. I hope you've congratulated her. Yes, I called her on the phone and we chatted. She's so excited. Mm, I'm so happy for her. <laughs> you see, it is good for one to set their dreams and attain it. Ah, she's now the talk of the town. I am happy for her too, but I was expecting her to do better. Scoring 372 over 400. That's an excellent result. Of course, no, but judging the fact that I saw. Please don't think low of yourself. You are equally brilliant, and you can even surpass her in grades if that is all that matters. You know what's wrong? Mm -hmm. I've decided that I'm going to study extra hard when I get to the university because I want to make it first class and also graduate as the best student of my set. Amen. Amen. Maybe to you, according to your wish. Amen. Oh, I'm so happy for you, my daughter. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Zimba. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Please have a seat. Yes. Ah, uh, how is Funke? Funke is very fine. Uh, is, she, is she around? No. But why are you asking? I asked him to make an inquiry from her. Enquiries? Yes. By the way, have you congratulated me for my daughter's performance in the last exam? Of course, you know she came top in the job exams. That is why I'm here, Mr. Biodo. Yes? The authorities are saying something different about your daughter's exam results. <laughs> something different about what, Mr. Zimba? What? That she's moving around with forged results. You must be out of your mind, Mr. Zimba. You must be out of your mind. Are you accusing my daughter of forging her results? Is that? I have not assumed such, Mr. Biodon. But I need to talk to her. I think there is a mix-up somewhere. The security agencies came to the school and they asked me to bring them to your house. But I found a way of discharging them. Mr. Zimba, or whatever you call yourself, I have discovered that you are not a very good person and you do not like my daughter's achievements so far and you are envious of her. Let me assure you that there's nothing you can do to her. Envious, you see? Yes. <laughs> I can never be envious of your daughter's achievements. On the contrary, I am most happier but I think there is a mix-up somewhere. I need to talk to her. You need to ask her so that she can tell us the truth. Let's find a way of managing this situation before it gets out of hand. Mr. Zimba, get out of my house. And let me advise you never to come to my house again. Nonsense. What's the problem about this Look at this man that calls himself Zimba. Coming here to tell me that our daughter's, uh, my, my daughter's uh, result, Funke, is a forged result. Can you just imagine? What? That cannot be correct, Mr. Zimba. 
Tuke is very brilliant, and you know that. Madam, you are very correct. Funke is a very brilliant student. She is my student and the best in her class. But I think there is a mix-up somewhere and we, I intend to fix it. If not, this problem will become a major scandal and you both will not be able to withhold the heat that will come from outside. Please, leave my house. Leave my house! Well, Mr. Jordan, I pray you are right about your daughter. Thank you. Can you imagine? Why would he say such a thing? What insolence! The nation celebrates you. Ah, the Our alma mater celebrates you. We are proud of you. <laughs> ah, I want to be like you. Anyway. Oh, 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 you don't know what's happening in this country. She has traveled. For these past few days. <laughs> this one doesn't even know what's happening. What has it happened? Oh. Uh -uh. You're not aware of what is happening. You're not aware that um the authorities, you know, arrested uh, Sam. That one that has that special that runs that special center. Mm -hmm. And Toby, that Funke's um, boyfriend. Why? Over what? Why not? Uh -uh. You went to forge results for Funke and so she become the highest and scored the first. So you don't know. Are you in this? That cannot be true. Mm -hmm. It is a true. brilliant girl. Brilliant she doesn't need to forge any results. Are you not brilliant? I'm brilliant. That's well, what is happening. Well, that is exactly what happened. In fact, they would have arrested her even for the Commissioner for Education that pleaded mm -hmm. on her behalf. Mm -hmm. You just stayed there to play. Did you know? That's very sad. <laughs> Who could have led her into making such a mistake? My dear, she even investigated. As if she investigated and found out that the highest score, you know, then she went to go and upgrade it to two marks. And shockingly, her own hmm. score is 250. 250. And she's not satisfied. Very with it. She's not satisfied. She wants to go over the whole class. After the boasting, you know, she boasted. That's <laughs> why she began the inner act. Mm -hmm. Still, this is unfortunate. So, so, so. Is unfortunate. That's I know it's Toby that misled her. I, I don't know who misled her, mm. but the most important thing now is that at least Laura came to our school now. Yeah, Congratulations! Yeah. Hey, we hey, are going to invest. Well, invest. Scott. <laughs> wow. Sorry. 
Mr. Gordon. We will not allow such a brilliant child derail for just one mistake. It is good this is happening early. We will plead with the security agencies and the authorities to see if they would allow her to keep the current results. We will do all we can to make sure she gets the proper counseling and the psychological care because that is all she needs right now. Thank you, Mr. Zimba. I am so sorry that I misunderstood you all the way. Sorry. Okay. Just take care of yourself. 